family, what's going on? This is Luis El Milusos coming to you once again. As you can see from my backdrop here, uh, I actually own Southern California DJ Company. And uh, I usually put up videos that have to do with repairing vehicles. That's what I have been doing with different cars that I own whenever maintenance comes up. And if I can go ahead and put a video up with regards to that maintenance, that's what I usually try to do. But I also, being that I own the DJ Company, wanted to introduce that and uh, unbox this particular speaker. For ease of the video, I just ripped the tape off, that's all I did uh, with regards to opening it. This is the QSC KW181 subwoofer. Omnidirectional, 1000 uh, watt active sound uh, subwoofer. It is one awesome subwoofer. Uh, the other uh, subwoofer I can think of that I've used that I really like is the Yorksville one, but um, it's so much bigger, it's heavier, and just this one seems to be a really well-rounded subwoofer. You're gonna have, if you have one, you're gonna get away with most events that you do, unless you're doing really a lot of outdoor, really large uh, events, then you're gonna need two, three, four, however many, but for most events, for a wedding, for most parties that you might wanna do, this subwoofer is gonna be more than enough. You can team this up with either the K10, the K8s, the K12s, it doesn't really matter, uh, depending on the tops that you want to use, that's you know the, the, the uh, range that you want to cover in the room, that's going to determine how many tops you have, but with this uh, subwoofer, you really only almost need one. So let's get into the nitty gritty of this. This one um, is really cool, it comes with a six year warranty, so when you buy it, you just want to open it up and uh, you know test to make sure everything's good but go register it it's six years warranty it's really, really solid it has uh, several channels and inputs that you can do so in the in the box itself it's just some cardboard on the top pretty sturdy pretty thick on the top it's narrower on this side but it's thick to be able to keep it from being banged up against items so i'm going to go ahead and, and just slide it over i'm going to open this other side and slide this over as well so there's the second side uh, one of the things that i like is that it does have a speaker pull, but it depends on the application that you have. Uh, me, I would have preferred that this would be uh, a round open, more like the like the connector or the adapter that's at the bottom of the speakers, of the K10s, the K12s. That adapter would, would have been my preferred adapter rather than this one that screws on. So um, this particular one here is, I think it's decent in size as far as the height, you know, we could. Uh, do something maybe a little bit higher, but this one's gonna be and ring it up from the floor, you know, a, a good considerable height comparable to what you would have if you had a tripod. So when you do one like this and you put a speaker on top, that will suffice and will look kind of cool. But for me, I'll make another video of an idea that I had using the uh, quad truss or box uh, truss style uh, trussing, and I have an idea with regards to that that includes the speakers, it includes the mounting and all of that. So I will try to modify this and figure out a way to maybe get that done. And then I'll put another video with regards to that. So we're gonna take this pole, we're gonna go ahead and set it aside. And what we do with this one, we just look for the, the, the side that has the casters. And the reason why we're gonna do that is because we're gonna go ahead and tilt the box over and uh, be able to, uh, to turn it. So I have it on a furniture dolly to assist me with the tilting so if you notice, my furniture dolly was here, I had it sitting on top, and now when I inclined it, all it did is the box came here, the weight came down this way, lifts this side up, but then it lands on the floor, and then when I finish, this one falls back down, and then the box ends up the way that I have it. So I had it this way, and that's what it did. It went up this way, and then once the box landed, this one fell down, and then it was done. So I'll go ahead and push this on the way. Nice furniture dolly. That, Great investment if you guys haven't bought one, if you need to buy one. It's like 20 bucks at Home Depot even. So you can buy that or you find it online for about the same. But it's just a, a good investment. The wheel, one of the a human's best investments. So I'm going to mention. So go ahead and uh, I'm going to slide this one out. Here comes the beast. This is a nice, nice speaker. This is going to come with the instructions manual. It's going to come with um, your cables that you need. Now, I know for a fact that this one has two power cords. Let's go ahead and open this up and leave out in the box. And then we get rid of the 
box. I can already see my kids using it for a, a fort and cutting windows and all that stuff. I mean, you know, if you've got young enough kids, they're going to want this big box because big boxes and kids, they're just, you know, they go hand in hand. So we have two plugs. We have the plug that's going to be the standard uh, United States plug, and then we have an adapter that's going to be for uh, overseas. If you have a, uh, you know, just in a different country, you could go ahead and, and use that uh, to plug it in. So we're going to move this one out of the way. All right. And now we can go ahead and have our instructions manual with the hook of drawing. So it's going to tell you pretty much where, uh, how to connect it, how to bridge it, because it does have several channels, like I mentioned. And so what we're going to be doing is I'll show you this channel in a second. I'm going to go ahead and pull this plastic off. This is a beast. It is beautiful. All right. So we're going to go ahead and now tilt it the other way. Always watch your back. Always, you know, be real careful. You don't have to do it so fast the way you're going to hurt yourself. All right, so one of the things I wanted to point here is, or point out, is that this speaker has several channels with regards to the input. So I'll tilt it this way, and you have channel line A in, which is line A, and you have line B. And what that helps with is, yes, you're going to go right and left and right, a lot of people would like to do that from the mixer, but one of the things that's neat is you can actually plug in two different units or signals into the speaker because it's separated channels. And so if you had, let's say, like on my K-12s, on my K-12s I have line A and then I have line B. The difference is on that one, it's going to have the vocal uh, speaker. So you have a section that's going to say microphone or line. And when you plug that in, I can literally plug in a microphone on line A and then I can plug my mixer to the actual speaker on line B. Well, in this case, it does have two different inputs. So if you're running two different mixers, you can set one mixer in this way, one mixer in the other. So you can definitely run separate channels. It does have the, the audio out, which is cool. And you can go ahead and splice that and bridge it out and send it over to the other speakers that you're going to be uh, performing for or with. So it's a pretty versatile, pretty nice uh, setup. But overall, a thousand watts is very, very cool. I know that now for 2018 and into 2019, the K-Series is going to be changing and the K-Series is going to go pretty much uh, to the K-2s, which is already out. And that one has a, the digital processor and it, it comes with 2,000 watts instead of 1,000 watt amp. So I don't see uh, the QSC changing the KW181 to that um, system yet because this is a very, very sturdy and solid box, but I wouldn't be surprised if they're actually developing and working on a uh, KW maybe 182. I don't know what they would na label it, but it's gonna come you know, in that section if, if it does. But for now, this beast right here, don't be afraid to buy it. If you're still thinking about buying it, just go out and spend the money for, for this subwoofer. You can find a lot of entry-level subs, but and they're gonna they're gonna sound okay. They're gonna sound you know good. They're gonna get the job done. But in the long run, you need the reliability. Most higher end, higher paid jobs, you know, you want to present them with something that's gonna be high quality. That's gonna sound amazing. That you know it's gonna get the job done. Because if you want to be able to make you know that money, and you want to be able to get to attend to those higher end clients, the higher end clients demand and expect the high end products. So don't be cheap, don't be stingy, go out and you know, get yourself something that's good quality from the get-go. And I get it, sometimes when we start, we have to build our way up and we have to do that. But if you're going to be starting and if you're going to be getting it, it's going to be your first subwoofer, you can go out and find a subwoofer for 400 bucks. You can go out and find things like that. But I would personally suggest that you go and buy yourself higher end tops. If that's your concern, and you can't afford the subwoofer yet, get yourself some QSC tops, top of the line. You know, you're gonna present yourself well, they look good, they sound amazing, and you know that the reliability is there behind them. So, 
when it comes time for the subwoofer, you have done several shows, several events, and at that point, you'll be able to save some money and invest it into a really nice, solid subwoofer. So that's my recommendation. This is the unboxing. Again, the KW181 from the KW series from QSC. And uh, you know, you definitely recommend it. So Luis Elminusos, Southern California DJ Company, here for all your event needs. God bless, hit like, and subscribe.